so I just wanted to come on here and um, tell you guys about what happened today. So I got notification that today, um, tonight, I would do my trigger shot. So my retrieval is on Wednesday. Thank goodness. Because I honestly don't know how many days I could take of it. Um, the other thing is um, my egg count. Not my account, my size. So majority of them are between 17 millimeters and 20 millimeters. There are a couple that are 11 and 13 millimeters, um, but majority of them are between 17 and 20. Um, so my clinic, they have their own protocol when it comes to retrieval. So I want to go over that with you guys. So for me personally, I will be taking for my trigger tonight, Avadrel and Lupron. Those are my two trigger shots that I have to take tonight, which I will show you guys that. Um, I My retrieval is at 11 o'clock in the morning, so I have to stay up until 11 o'clock tonight to do my trigger shot. Because I think it's like 36 hours exactly to the minute when they do the retrieval from when you take your trigger. Um, so they give, give me the paperwork. They said it to you electronically anyways. Um, so according to their protocol, I have to be on a clear liquid diet for the day tomorrow. For tomorrow. And then I also have to drink a half a bottle, drink a half a bottle of the magnesium sulfate, not sulfate, citrate. I have to drink a half a bottle. I have it upstairs. So I'll have to show it to you guys. Um, I'll try and remember anyways. So I have to drink half of that bottle because the goal is to get me completely cleaned out by, sur by the surgery, by the retrieval, which they consider a surgery. Um, so, because I guess the reasoning behind it is so that way they can see your ovaries better without seeing your nastiness on there i guess when you have bowels in you they can see that too when you're looking at your ovaries i don't know so the goal is to get rid of everything in my system so that way it's a clearer shot of my ovaries um so the Oh, so I also can't eat or drink anything after midnight tomorrow night, which stinks because for me personally, because if you have had weight loss surgery, if you've had the vertical sleeve like I have, and you're looking at these videos to see how it works for the IVF for me. Um, so I don't know if you experience this, but I experience if I don't eat or drink something within a couple of hours of me waking up, I get a severe pain in my stomach. Like it's like a nauseous, like sharp pain in my stomach until I like drink or eat something and then it goes away. So for me, Wednesday morning, I think it's going to be the hardest for the simple fact that I cannot drink or eat anything past midnight and my procedure is at 11 o'clock in the morning that's a very long time for somebody with a small stomach like me um so i'm i'm probably gonna struggle with that a little bit just pain wise like not that i can't eat or not drink or eat anything it's the pain that i'm worried about um so we will see how that goes and I'll, I'll let you guys know as well. Um, the other thing too is I can't wear contacts, perfume, jewelry, hairpins, um, any piercings. And I have to wear loose fitting clothes with opening in the front and that are comfortable. So, um, 
It says I can take my med my thyroid medicine um, with a small sip of water. So maybe that hopefully would be my saving grace if I do experience that sharp pain in the morning, just that little sip of water. Um, so we will see. So I have to be there by 10 a.m. Checked in by 10 a.m. Um, so they told me to bring the sample, my husband's sample, but my husband's always had bad luck bringing samples. They always, something always goes wrong with the sample and it's never good. So he's always done his sample at the facility. So I asked the nurse, I sent a message to her in the portal and I asked her if he can do it at the facility because he's not, he's not allowed to come in. So she's going to get back to me on it. I hope she says he can because we always have that experience when it comes to doing a sample at home. For some reason, there's something that happens with the sample and it's always no good. So let's keep our fingers crossed on that. So retrieval is finally happening and I'm so grateful. So grateful. The challenge right now for me is to stay up until 11 o'clock because I'm usually in bed by 930. So um, but I will show you guys the, the triggers when I do them. So until then. All right, you guys. So it is almost 11. I'm still awake. I made it. I'm very tired. Couple things before I get started, I wanted to show you guys. Um, I know I didn't record this weekend because I've been under a lot of stuff, depression, anxiety, things of that nature. But I ended up printing out um, Gunnel F and Gunnel Relics. And I started writing what leg I was putting it on, what time, and what date. I wish I kind of did this from the beginning. So if I ever have to do another IVF cycle like this, I will know that I will be using this. I just wanted to show you guys because it was really helpful. I didn't have to guess on what leg I need to go to. So I just kept this with a pen in my little box here. So, all right, and also this is the thing that I have to take. I have to drink half of this bottle tomorrow. God, I'm gonna be living in this bathroom tomorrow. Awful. All right, so I have to take the Lupron or the Lothricide, whatever this is. Um, so I have to take 80 units. So the downfall, you guys, is this needle only carries 50 units. So I already did pre do this one syringe. So this one is at, I don't know if you can see it, is at a 50. Yeah, it's at 50. So, um, so that's one I have to do. So let me show you what I have to do. Or if I have to do another one. So you get your needles. It comes with a crap load of needles. So, let's see if you guys can see. Alright. So, this is the vial right here. It did have this on it. I just took it off. You have to clean the top of it like this. Okay. And you get your syringe. Now I have to fill this one with 30 units to get my full 80 units. Take the cover off. Then you gotta put air in it. So I'm going to put 30 bit of air because that's how much I have to take. 
So I put it inside the middle like that. Like, oh, hold on, I think I put the air in. Then I tip it upside down. And I have to fill it, I have to fill it without getting air in it. So let's try this out. Did pretty good the first time. If there's air, like there's an air bubble right there, I just have to push it back in, get the air bubble out, and then start pulling again, nice and slow. A little air bubble, huh? It's supposed to stay in. Okay, close it. Okay. Almost there. Alright. I still have so much of this left. I don't know if you guys can see it. Flip it in there. Okay. So I have to take these two. That equals 80. But that's not all, you guys. <laughs> So that is a looper slide right there. So this is what I'm doing. And then this was in the refrigerator and I took it out a half hour before. And so with this, I only have to take half of this vial. So they said to take a marker, which I'm going to try and use this and see if it works. This is my makeup pen. If not, I have a this to do, but it says to mark about halfway. I don't even know if that's half. Like, how can you determine what's half? Like, there's no markings on this. Look at it. No markings at all. And I have to determine what half is. So I guess. that seem to be like half? It doesn't, does it? The three would be half. With that, that kind of looks like half, right? She said I don't have to be precise, it's just, and if it's a little under a half, it's fine too. But then she told me I have to take it out. So I have to put this gray to my black line. So I just waste the medicine. Just dump it out. So I hope I didn't take too much, put too much out, but that's Hopefully half. I hope I didn't take too much out. Is what it is. I think I took so much out. Shit. Why does that needle look like that? It looks kind of bent. Dang, I think I did put too much out. 
Oh well. What are you gonna do? I'm sure with all these, <laughs> all this, <laughs> it's should equal my trigger shot. I think it's kind of overkill if you ask me. So, because I have a friend who just went through it and all she took was this. Now you're having me add this. <laughs> Yeah, I hope I just, oh, I'm really worried that I took too much out. All right. I'm not going to stress about it. I'm not going to stress about it. How much longer do I have? All right, so I'm going to pause this until 11 o'clock. I am going to right now do my ice while I'm waiting. Ooh, perfect timing, exactly 11 o'clock. Okay, so let's do this. I just iced it. I'm just going to do this whole area. Okay, I'm actually going to do it again. Just to really make sure I got along this area. Alright. I'm going to start with the Avadrill. So I'm going to start up here. One, two, three. Starting off with the 30. Oh, that one hurt. Oh, that burn's going in. Fudge. That one burns like a son of a bitch. I have to do it again. Shit. Do it up here. At this point, my leg is not even cold anymore. This is a 50. so bad. One, two, three, four, five. Whew. I got the freaking goosebumps that hurt so bad. So bad. Different spots. So I wanted to say to you guys too. The trigger shot, I believe, what it does is it gives you a burst of HCG, which is the pregnancy hormone. Well at least the Avadrill does. I can only speak for the Avadrill. I don't know about the Lebron. Um, and it stops the growth of the follicle. So that's what it does. I think it tricks your body into thinking you're pregnant. Because um, I do believe if I take a test tomorrow, which I should just do it for shits and giggles. Um, if I take a test tomorrow, I will have a positive test. So we will do that. We will take a test just for shits and giggles. 
and see if it's positive or negative. Just curiosity. Since I took such a low dose, I don't know if it's going to come up positive, but we will see. But all right, you guys. So no more shots for until ret after retrieval. So these were my last shots. Thank God. And then Wednesday is my retrieval and I will tell you guys how it goes. So I'm just so excited. It's finally, it's finally happening. But you guys have a great night. And until next time. Alright guys, so I wanted to test the trigger shot to see if, Jesus, toilet is so loud, <laughs> to see if I'm testing positive. So it is about a little after 10 a.m. on the 16th. So I took a cheapy one and I took a digital one. I have no idea what they say, but let's check it out. Yep. So it is definitely positive. Let me see if you guys can see it. Um, you can see that line. Let me see. I'm sure you guys can see that line. So let's see what the digital says. Digital says yes. Do you see? I'm trying to. Let me see if I can bring it down. So, even though it was such a, a low dose, oops, sorry you guys, even though it was such a low dose, it still is picking up as a positive. So there's a closer of the um, cheapy, and then positive on the digital.